All right, now we're getting a little fun here. See, we got uh, some di little bit difficult uh, numbers here. I have a negative seven divided by two is equal to seven times r. Now, before you start freaking out and saying, all right, I can't solve this one, I can do the easy ones, let's just slow down and take a look at it, all right? Again, we're just following the same rules. What is it we want to do? We need to isolate our variable r. We, that means we need to undo what is happening to r. So what is happening to r? It's being multiplied by 7. Done. Okay, plain and simple. It's being multiplied by 7. So the inverse operation of multiplication is to divide. Okay, so I know this over here looks crazy, but we know that 7 divided by 7 equals 1, and 1 times r is equal to r. So all I need to do is just figure out how do I take negative 7 divided by 2 and divide it by 7. Well, there's a lot of different ways we could take a look at this um, and solve it. Uh, one thing, you could convert this to a decimal and so forth, um, and then divide by 7. I don't really want you to use your calculator. One thing is, if you remember, uh, multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. Right? Those are equal operations. So instead of dividing by 7, why don't I just rewrite it as uh, 1 7 times negative 7 over 2. Then what I can do is you can rewrite it. Um, you can see that the 7's cancel out. Or if you just want to multiply it out, you get negative 7 over 14, which reduces to a negative 1 half. So now you could say negative one half is equal to r, or as we like to write, r is equal to negative one half. So it's not that bad. Just take it slowly. Just remember, use your inverse operations, and you know, use your math skills that you've used before to uh, help you solve um, when you uh, have to divide a number by or a, a fraction by a number.